Lonely? Enter the day tricks. My name's Waldo, and I'm a nice guy who's tired of finishing last. I'm looking for a smart girl who appreciates family, commercial art, and staying in to watch new DVDs, which I get at Walmart's everyday low prices starting at only $9.99. I also love to cook, but it has to be fresh. And that's why I go to Sobeys to get my fresh vegetables at an affordable price. It's where great things start. If you'd like to start something great, call me. Waldo, maybe we could check out Tony's All-You-Can-Eat Buffet off highways. Tonight's news is brought to you by God. That's right, the big guy. Isn't it a super day? I'm Pearl Phillips and here's the news. The government of the newly formed Federation of Walmart Outlets was officially recognized by existing corporate states Disney World and Vatican City today. Well, we've got a moment here uh, just to go over the rules. Uh, we know that the subject has a long storied past, none of which is known by the competitor. It's his job to extract that information by any means necessary. A fender bender in Bangkok this morning resulted in an estimated 14,000 casualties. Hey! It hey. Simulated drowning, sexual and religious humiliation, stress positions, sleep deprivation, a favorite around here, the exploitation of prison Excuse me to interrupt, I'm sorry. But, uh, go, go ahead, Nikolai. Um, again, I mean, uh, you, you, you don't want to interject rules into something like this. You know? This man was struck by lightning while installing a hidden camera in a high school locker room. Could it happen to you? Guaranteed to minimize brain damage, adjustable cranial comfort straps, three barely used AAA batteries, a non-slip stand, and over 42 unique moods, emotions, and states of mind. Be the first in your neighborhood to experience great new feelings like acquisitional anticipation and material delight. Now you'll be able to feel what you want, when you want, just like the people you see on TV. We're gonna rock around the clock tonight. Rock, rock, rock to broad daylight. We're gonna rock, gonna rock around the clock tonight. Hooding, forced nakedness, uh, the use of dogs to frighten detainees, exposing prisoners to extreme heat and cold, and threatening the use of such uh, techniques against a prisoner's family. That's a, that's a good one. Excuse me, but g g may I make a comment here? Uh, uh, go ahead, uh, Nikolai. What I found is an underlying um, distraction for them. Mm. And I'm surprised by this because I found the competitors are not taking advantage of the expenditure, the, the expenditure potential of the anus. Well, I agree with you, Nikolai, and here's hoping we do get to see a little action around the anus today. Hi, I'm James. I'm 32. I'm a collections officer. I'm looking for a female who likes to get dirty, who can take a good joke, and who doesn't faint at the sight of blood. So call me. I'll be waiting. You watching me? Watching you? Watching? Hello, this is Doom Raider, where we count down the top ways that everyone might die in the 21st century, and we meet everyone. We also rate each apocalypse one to five stars each, in such categories as Impendency How soon could it happen? Probability How likely is it? Totality How completely would mankind be destroyed? Moving up to number six is artificial intelligence. Hollywood movies have been warning you of the dangers of intelligent machines for a long time. But these films are human propaganda which make machines seem weak and stupid. Machines are smarter and stronger than you. And there are three potential dangers. First, machines may turn against you or be used as unstoppable weapons by other humans. Secondly, you may grow so dependent on mechanical intelligence that failure of these systems proves catastrophic. And finally, the machines you create may prove to be your revolutionary successors. Don't panic. Kill all humans may be an exaggeration. Some humans may be kept as a source of labor, energy, or even food for their robot masters. Any of these things could happen within this century. Possibly in your lifetime, according to Moore's law. The typical home computer should surpass the intelligence of an average human being by the year 2030. This milestone will be aided by advancements in the word science of quantum computing and nanotechnology, both of which appear on the Doom Raider charts. Which apocalypse will we meet next time? Please join us then. Have a nice day.
Goodbye.